Number 46. What length should an oboe have to produce a fundamental frequency of 110 hertz on a day when the speed of sound is 343 meters per second? It is open at both ends. All right, so just check out number 42. I went through a general overview of this section about what the formulas represent. Right, so we're going to run through it here. Open at both ends. So that means we're going to have a, uh, we're going to use the equation of that the frequency of the nth harmonic will be equal to the nth harmonic multiplied by the velocity of sound divided then by two times the length of the tube. All right, where the harmonics here can be one, two, three, four. We don't skip it like a tube open at only one end. Now, we also developed in number 43 a very uh, straightforward formula as well, but actually that won't really apply that. We don't even need it for this one. So all we now need to do here basically is going to be to kind of plug in the values, right? You have to remember though one thing that the fundamental frequency correlates with the first harmonic. So basically, fundamental frequency is 110 hertz. So I plug that in for frequency, right, of the harmonic number one. Then n here would be number one multiplied by the velocity of sound, which is 343, all divided then by two times the length of the tube. We're solving for the length of the tube, right? So why don't we just, you know, why don't we just work this on out? Basically, literally all you have to do is just take this value out of the denominator on the left into the numerator on the right and bring down the 110, okay, into that denominator and just voila, that's it. All right, so let's just calculate. So this is 343 divided by parentheses two times 110 and 1.56. So the length of the tube, oh, the length of the tube is going to be equal to 1.56 and that's in terms of meters. Voila. Guys, thank you. Hopefully this helps. If it, if you can subscribe. All right. It's free. Take care.